everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Buarito Ay Kadanigo, and you're watching my live hikers. We're on our way to the venue of the interview with a very special guest and with Sir Ian. Hi! <laughs> the I'm transport his personal driver today. So Correct. Chauffeur Diva Extraordinaire, Ian Rally Garbus. So we're now on our way, so come on, try it now. There, in the resort, and it's never an easy travel. It's not definitely an easy drive because the pathways or the road, whatever you call it, is not cemented. So it's really a challenge. You can, be, you can just definitely walk. It's definitely a long walk. Hi, we're finally here in what they call this Lara, Lara. 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 Hi, welcome to Philippine Airlines. <laughs> We're here in Lara Resort Beach. Lara Beach here in Danglung. We're now on our way to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> there you can see the port. And then the color of the sand is how do you call it? It's it's beige. Gray. It's a grayish beige color. <laughs> the sand is a beige color. It's definitely underdeveloped now. It's still underdeveloped. Yeah. Uh -huh. And but I don't want them to develop this. Gorgeous. Because they're, they're, uh, eventually they're going to ask for you know. At least it's seventy five percent virgin still. <laughs> <laughs> It can stay this way, except for maybe to, to just improve the, the road, it is the still way. As, as it is. Correct. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe like, later we'll have a swim. Okay, so let's now start the my life icon, an interview with my special guest, Miss Maribel Zamora. And you will know why she's one of my icons. See you, Miss Maribel. Finally, I have with me right now. My icon for this episode, Maribel Zamora. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. <laughs> so, uh, before I ask her the questions, I'd like to first thank Mama Maribel for introducing me to this place. Just like what I said earlier, I'm just living in the commercial area in Sanya, and I didn't know that nearby there's a little paradise here. So, for me, it's uncharted, but now I already discovered it. So, thank you, Mama Maribel. <laughs> when did you discover this so place, Mel? Yeah, Lara Beach. Pauline introduced me to Ah, so that's when you discovered it. <laughs> the reason why I consider Mama Maribel an icon is because I have really high respect for it. But your book's a title, um, writers, oh. authors, publisher. So the story behind it. Okay, the title of the book is Ang Bag na Pula ni Tara. Inspired because uh, it was introduced in the national office that each division should make or should um, create you know, storybooks for children and I was inspired also because my child has a red bag and that time that I was able to think about uh, about making a book entitled Ang Bag na Pula or in English it is The Red Bag is it a short story? Yeah, it is a short story for kindergarten. Wow. Can you tell us the summary or the synopsis of the story? Uh, the, the red bag was given by her Lola. And then her Lola told her that... Her Lola told her to take care of the bag. Mm -hmm. And then it, it became Tara's favorite bag. Mm -hmm. By my the child, way... My child's favorite your bag. Fudge. Yeah, Mama Maribel doesn't have to give everything so that you will really get a copy of the book. <laughs> but by the way, Mama Maribel, um, who were the people you have to work with to be able to complete the project? First, it was our CID chief, Mom Jim Office. She has a, a bamboo hut over there. Mm -hmm. 
I hope uh, she's around also. And aside from Mom Gemma? Oh, Mom Gemma and also uh, Mom Lorna, Mom Chona, and the rest of my colleagues in the office. Ah, okay. So we believe, Mom Maribel, you already submitted a copy of the book to the central office? Um, or regional not yet. office? Uh, it was, uh, I applied for an intellectual property right for the book and I uh, wasn't received the certificate yet but later I hope I will be able to have it in my hands Wow! Did you receive an <laughs> award? Was there a distinction? There was no award Yet, award. not yet yeah, yeah. Ah, okay So sooner or later when you receive the copyright you can already proceed to publishing the book Yes, sir um, Not now yet Yes, sir It was quality assured already in the regional office and I was able to publish it because there was a suggestion to add more, uh, a little twist of the story. Mm, yes, okay, it. so you still have to edit it. Yes, sir. So there will be a revised copy. Tell us about the cover concept. Tell us um, the story behind the cover. The, the concept of the cover is um, a child holding, his, uh, holding her, her red bag. And then um, she also has the materials uh, inside, uh, outside the bag, mm. in which uh, she's going to put it inside. And who was your artist, you know, which actually uh, made sure that your concept will come to life through the cover? Uh, it was my student, Juran. Uh, he made the outline of the figures, but I was the one digitizing the book. I colored it uh, using Photoshop. So you're already capable, Mom, now, of kind of making cover, conceptualizing, layouting, formatting. Yes, <laughs> Well, that's great. <laughs> By the way, later on, after this interview, I will show a screenshot of the cover. The sample, the 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 cover. Anyway, you don't you want to change the cover anymore, right? Yes. The revision is in the content. Yes. So the cover, you will see the cover later. I'm so I'm so excited. So for those who want to reach out to Mom Bell, what is the name of your Facebook, Mom? Marie Bell. <laughs> I will also show the screenshot of her Facebook and your phone number just in case someone will be interested to seek for your advice or for consultation if they're planning to also publish a book. Your numbers are collaboration. Wow, yeah, collaboration. I, <laughs> I also do book cover designing international. I have international clients. Um, clients, yes. Wow. And the first one that I made was um, for an American author. It was entitled, He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. Wow. By the Asha Zellner. He's an American author. Wow, it is, that's great. It is her first novel ever. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot more also. And you shared to me one time that there are a lot of, you receive lots of messages no, from foreigners uh, yes, or from sir. writers. Yes, sir. Authors. Yeah. Because I'm also a member of a community where there are around 80,000 authors around the world. Yes. I'm so happy for you, Mama Reba, but at the same time jealous because envious because I love writing but I haven't published a book. But that's something I really need to do in the future. So thank you for the inspiration. So what was really your main, how do you call this, the, the, the your main drive, the driving force why you have really pushed through with the project? Um, at first, it was not planned, but it is already, um, what they call this, it is already um, in me. You know? I, sometimes when I get bored of the work, I used to design and then I posted it in my LinkedIn account, my Instagram, and then luckily, my friends there are contacting me, asking me if I can do a book cover design for them. Basically. <laughs> That can be a very good sideline job, Miss Bell. Yes, at first it was free. Kay ma uh, ma ikugu. <laughs> then ma ikugu sa sila kay because I of course I exerted effort. I spent a lot of time for it. But actually sa ako ang side, more uh, easy lang siya. Kay more kung palipas oras ba. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's your passion. Yes. So you don't feel like working. Aside from being now a full-fledged writer, Miss Bell is also holding a very interesting position in the division office. Can you tell us more about your position, Mom Bell, in the division? Office is worried. Okay, I was hired as a project development officer in which my responsibility is to help assist teachers in the in the division. 
to access the learning resource portal where they can get quality assured materials that they can use in the teaching learning process in the classroom. Yes, it's yeah. a very crucial role actually in our division. For you, since you're you're my icon and whom do you who who are those people you consider an icon? Oh Just give me one example that you consider an icon. <laughs> there are many of them. <laughs> Who do you think is the number one? Number one is... Number one is myself. Yes, number one is myself. And then the second one? <laughs> the second one is so Ian! No! No! <laughs> and of course, Sir Warren! Ah! Third place! <laughs> Mom, what is an icon for you? What is an icon or how do you define an icon? Uh, someone whom I look up to and who inspired me in doing things that I love. And someone with some, which, uh, whom, I mean, who, who actually makes you enjoy life. Yeah. And someone who makes you appreciate. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Mom Bell. And any final <laughs> message to aspiring writers and to the future book buyers, to your future fans? What is it, Warren? <laughs> Okay, so those who are uh, those who are fond of making designs, making layouts, or uh, making um, book cover designs, no, especially you can just enjoy doing it without thinking that you're gonna buy, I gonna sell it and get money from it. But just um, make your design and then show it to the world. We have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, <laughs> Twitter. Or whatever social media uh, you can Platforms. where you can advertise your work exactly yeah. so thank you very much Pam Bell for spending your precious precious time with us and I, I we're so proud of you <laughs> because you really shared your gift no the what the gift given by God to you and it's really fun knowing this place good <laughs> Yes, you know, I discovered this place because you know, a colleague, Ma'am Lenny De Vera, you know, she told me on March when ECQ started, she said, no, we will go to the beach. Asagi owns a global. I cannot imagine you know, the, the, fa the, the facade. <laughs> I cannot imagine the, the face of the beach. <laughs> so I did not say yes. But I was thinking, look at the beach. No? Then later on, so a lot of uh, colleagues of mine, the supervisors, from Chona, we have Mom um, Certifon, asam to ka Certifon, kana mo siguro. Then we also have Mom Ramos, then Mom Paterna Lasaga, she is a principal po Toledo City, po elementary school Toledo City. You know, they're also, uh, they are already uh, building their, um, what they call this one, Sir Warren. It's, a, it's um, like a cottage. It's like a cottage. Cut, yeah. yeah, they're they're building a cottage. Beach house. Beach house. <laughs> and soon you you will have your own too. I have You're a planning. space. <laughs> I have a space there beside Mom Ramos, but I wasn't able to um, to build my own yet. Not yet. Own. Not yet. Okay. Maybe later. Thank you, Mom Bell. So there you have it, my dear subscribers. The answer to the question, why is she an icon? She is my icon because she really made sure that her passion for writing and for publishing really came to life. And that is one way of offering back to God what He had endowed in her. So thank you very much for watching. Till the next episode. Bye! Thank you! Thank Bye. you, Sir Ian! <laughs> thank you, Sir Ian! Yay,